Let's talk through my most worn items of the summer. Essentially an opportunity for me to review the pieces I wore on repeat, all backed up by hard data as I track what I wear every single day. I will have a playlist of all my other most worn videos linked down in the description. And I wanted to quickly ask you, do you like the timing of this video, posting it now, almost three months after the fact, or would you prefer if I uploaded these straight away after the season has ended? Please let me know because I'm happy to do either. Anyway, let's dive right into it with my first item being my most worn top. It's absolutely clashing with what I'm wearing right now, but it's this cast to gray rib tank from St. Agni, an Australian brand. I got this as a way to refresh my wardrobe and have a cute top that was summer appropriate that felt a little bit more special than a basic tank. And this really fit the bill. And as you can tell for that purpose, I ended up reaching for this quite a few times. I'm happy with how this is held up. I've put it in the washing machine a number of times and it's come out looking like new. So very happy from that perspective. This was definitely a good addition to my wardrobe. I want to talk through my most worn shorts and coincidentally, I cannot find them anywhere. I have a search high and low in our house and they seem to be missing along with a black stretchy skirt from Eero and I'm hoping I'm going to track them down soon. They are my Garni shorts. These are high waisted with a D ring belt and they actually fall a little bit longer than some of the other styles I have. I wore these 13 times over the course of the summer and actually if I think about my most worn short style it was the Everlane A-line denim shorts which I wore 21 times across three of the different colors I have. I will try and find some footage or at least some photos of the Garni shorts so you can see what they look like. Essentially, what I've realized is I like a tailored short for the warmer months to feel a little bit more dressed up, especially when I am wearing a t-shirt. However, I have been disappointed with the quality of these shorts. Obviously, I'm throwing them in the washing machine and I've noticed the crepe fabric has a number of pulls, especially on the bum where you're sitting down on things. So not happy about that. I'm thinking potentially what I might do is look to upgrade these for next spring summer. Most worn dress was this black linen mini dress from Everlane. I wore this six times. This is 100% linen, has patch pockets and a little flounce at the hem, which is really pretty and slightly flirty. I also like the fact that it has the adjustable tie here at the neck. I purchased this during the sale, so unfortunately they don't do this exact style anymore, which is a real shame as it is such a good basic summer dress that feels a little bit more elevated details. I tend to keep an eye out for, as you can probably see. Uh, again, quality's held up really well, throwing it in the wash, and obviously I've continued to wear this throughout the autumn as well. This really filled a good gap in my closet for a good summer dress that I could just throw on and go. Oh, and for that and this little tank here, I would wear a strapless bra. When I was looking through the data, one thing became really clear to me was that I favored wearing shorts over skirts. And I'm not sure if this is just reflective of my lifestyle and having kids. Shorts are just a little bit more practical, especially when you're kind of crawling around and sitting on the floor a lot. But I did, of course, reach for some skirts and my most worn skirt happened to be this cotton knitted skirt from Auntie. I believe this is called the Helena skirt and this was gifted to me but I love it so much that I actually just ordered the matching gilet to go with it which I bought on pre-order. Can't wait to wear them together. I love a cotton knit like this, really easy to throw on. It is quite actually heavyweight and it has this really lovely uh, detail to how it has been woven which you can really only see up close. It has the elasticated waistband too, A-line silhouette, which is universally flattering. Uh, so that's been a real winner for me. And again, another piece that I have actually taken into the autumn season here in Sydney as well. Most worn trousers are very much reflective of the way that I've been dressing recently. So more fluid draped trousers, things that have a bit more ease to them. These are my facade pattern linen trousers, which you've seen me wear quite a number of times, I am sure. They don't seem to have the black available, but they are still available in a really lovely oatmeal color, which I will link below. Uh, again, another style I've thrown in the washing machine and they've held up really, really well. I wore these five times over the summer, which to me is quite a lot because I live in Sydney in Australia and generally our summers would be 35 degrees plus most days where you'd want to be wearing shorts. So I feel like that's a bit of a win. Again, another style that I've carried throughout autumn, at least the first month, and one that I will cycle back into my wardrobe as spring hits later in the year. Okay, well, let's talk about some outerwear pieces, starting with my most worn knit. And just to note, I didn't really wear much outerwear, so the numbers, again, are on the lower side. 
So my most worn knit was this cashmere cocoon cardigan. This is a crop style from Jenny Kane. And I think my discount code is still active. So I will leave that down below, but I'm also going to link some affordable alternatives because I know a lot of other brands do a very similar look to this. And if this isn't in your budget, but you want this vibe, you can easily still achieve that vibe or that mood. I have this in a size small and it's a really nice relaxed fit. This is definitely the one I would recommend if you are petite and you've been eyeing off either the regular cocoon or the crop style on their website. Uh, the quality of the cashmere is really plush. I wore this four times, which is again quite a few times considering that it's summer here and generally you don't really need to be wearing knitwear or anything like that, at least here in Sydney where I live. So a really good little cardigan, something that you could easily just throw on over the shoulders as well. I think just have that extra layer, especially if you're gonna be out in the evening. Most worn jacket came as a little bit of a surprise because I don't really recall wearing this at all, especially when I was reviewing the data. So it was my Bershka oversized blazer. I wore this three times. So again, not a lot, but it is summer. So I wasn't expecting to really have worn any of my jackets that much. Uh, again, this is a style that I've carried through into autumn. It's one I'm planning to wear throughout winter here in Australia. Uh, just a really good sort of tailored blazer style. Uh, I think this one was under $100 too, really reasonably priced and the quality for it is really nice as well. I honestly don't have too much to say about this aside from the fact that clearly my love of that more relaxed oversized blazer is still coming through very strong in my picks, at least what I'm gravitating towards as I'm getting dressed every single day. Finally, we'll run through accessories. So surprise, surprise, my most worn pair of shoes was a pair of slide sandal. I'm sure we all knew that that was going to be the case. But this time around, instead of my Saint Laurent slides, it was my Wetna Caroline or Carolina slides. Now, I got them in the tan, and I would actually suggest if you were eyeing these off to either get them in the patent or in the black leather, because I have noticed there's a number of little spots and just the wear and tear on these is showing more than I would expect it to on those other two colorways. I wore these for a total of 36 times over the summer and for me they were just a really easy one to just slip on. Being this lovely warm caramel color, they went with absolutely everything in my wardrobe and I have to say they are very, very comfortable too. So uh, another one of those purchases that I'm really glad that I made that turned out to be a real winner in my closet. Finally, let's chat through my most worn bag, my Savin Tilly's Big Sis crossbody bag. I adore this so much. Now, sadly, this was a seasonal color, so the berry hue is no longer available, but they do have some really pretty options at the moment. I personally really like the Gotham Grey and also the Antique White uh, for that real bright pop for the winter. Uh, this, to me, is a really brilliant alternative to the Celine Trio. It serves the same purpose in terms of functionality, but actually I think this is even better. So it just has a single zipper along the top, and when you open it up, you have a number of compartments. So you've got one at the front, one at the back, and then there's this middle section, which is zipper closure, and then on either side of that pouch, you have additional pockets, with card holders in it. So a really practical choice if you were planning to go traveling. The quality of the leather is absolutely beautiful. I really can't fault it and it looks immaculate even now. I've had this for over a year at this point and worn it so many times. Over the summer, I wore it 29 times. Mine does have the addition of the chain, which I really love for this extra bit of adornment and shine. I think it really pops as well against the burgundy berry hue. A really nice adjustable strap as well and I do have a 15% off discount code as one of their Australian ambassadors so I will be sure to have that down in the description box below but really you can't go wrong with this um, and it's one of my absolute all-time favorite bags at this point. So that wraps up my summer most worn items for 22-23. I hope that you enjoyed and I hope you don't mind that I zipped through things this time. I wanted to keep it short and sweet. I will have a little bit more of a deep dive over on my blog where I chat through why these items were so key to my summer style. So if you want to read that, just have a look in the description box for that link. I also want to know if you have made it this far, do you want me to do these combining spring, summer and autumn winter or do you like the quarterly updates? And don't forget to tell me about the timing as well on when I post them. But thank you so much for spending some of your day with me. I am forever grateful. If you're new here and you want to subscribe, I would love to have you back. I'm planning to do a lot more styling videos. And of course, if you do want to book in for a styling session with me, you can also do that via the description box below. I will see you very soon with a brand new video. Thanks for watching. Bye.